Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today's video I'm going to be trying out the crayon case. It's going to be like a full face of the crayon case bars, but like for real for real basically a full face. Like I have bronzer, highlighter, eyeshadow, powder, freaking um, lip products. So like I'm doing a full on full on look. I have been wanting to do this for the longest and um they had a 40 percent off by the school sale and i was like okay i'm on it i got y'all i will not miss out on the crayon case anymore like millions of other people i follow super Saint on instagram and i just always been inspired by like the realness that is her brand so i wanted to support and 40 percent off like you really can't like yeah you can't you can't not do all that you know what i'm saying so it's a makeup video get ready with me and i literally bought a lot of stuff i spent like 80 bucks but it was 40 percent off so like i spent like one something you know before the discount code so let's start the video all right okay bring it down so i'm gonna do foundation and all of that stuff because they don't have foundation um on their site Maybe she will, maybe she won't, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna just use Fenty. Um, I wanna do like, not a crazy, actually I'm gonna put on primer, um, but I'm gonna do my eyes first because I always do my face first, but I never really do intricate, you know, eye looks. So, I'm going to take the concealer from the crayon case and where did I put it? Oh, here it is. This is it right here, this is the highlighter concealer this is the color 16 it's a little bit lighter than i usually go for concealer but i obviously bought everything on the site you know <laughs> based on what i could kind of go off of it's a lot of concealer so i'm gonna separate it who i put a lot of concealer on my eyes already see if you're new here this is not my thing I be putting makeup on but like not really you know this concealer is thick though which is a plus okay we love a good thicky concealer so her products are all cruelty free which is really my favorite thing <laughs> when makeup brands are cruelty free so I had to hop on this is a good color, I think. I think I did good with my color choice. So, this is the concealer on my eyes. And then I'm going to use their Chalk Dust Setting Powder. This is in the color Y. We're trying to peel the plastic off the inside of the damn powder. Okay, I got it. All right. I got it, I got it. So I'm gonna actually just toss some into the cap. I think I picked a good color. Mmm, okay. I wish the site had like examples of skin tones because I feel like it was actually kind of hard for me to pick my color. Um, but with like lots of Instagram research, I figured it out, <laughs> okay? So I got the matte book. This is my first purchase. I literally purchased this. This is the what I went to the site for was the matte book. This seemed like something that I could really play with, you know? Like I could really do colors and my neutrals and have fun with it. And then I picked up their pencil brushes. And then you get seven eyeshadow brushes. I bought these really as an excuse to not have to wash my brushes and because they were on sale. So I think this color and this color are really warm and like good for transitions. So I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. I'm gonna start Oh wow, the pigment is crazy. The pigment is crazy. I'm gonna love this. 
as someone that does not do <laughs> their eye makeup ever, I don't wanna say ever, but rarely, I love when I don't have to do too much work and the pigment just comes up on my face. But yeah, I hope this video can kind of serve as a reference for some of you guys that might want to try it but just aren't sure what colors to get. I hope that as the video goes on, you might get some more information because I really wanted to know what colors would look best on me. So by so far, I think the concealer color was good. I think the powder color was good. So I'm looking forward to seeing how everything else looks, but I didn't really buy much else that needed to be customized. I'm gonna do this yellow first, and then this yellow. I'm applying it sloppily because y'all know, I don't, you know, y'all know. <laughs> okay, I, I don't be doing stuff perfectly, but it usually works out. So we're just gonna continue on and do what I do and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go in with another fluffy brush, and I'm going to use this orange kind of like as my crease color so we're basically doing a orange yellow sunset look and I just came up with this just now and I am bringing this orange in over the crease to help with the blending. Let me know if you guys have ever tried anything from the crayon case. I always want to know um, if the things that I bring on my channel are new to you or if you're already up on game. I know that she's mad popular so I know that I'm not the first person to ever bring this to your attention. I'm actually going to take some of the concealer, the same one, color 16. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand like this. Just a little bit, I don't need a lot. And I'm going to take the same yellow brush because I don't care. <laughs> it's flat. And I'm going to actually carve out the front right here. I'm going to use it as a base. Bring it a little bit above my crease and just pat it on like that. And I'm gonna do it on the other side too. I'm going to try to make this dry a little bit. I am winging it, you guys. Like, this is the definition. The definition of winging it. Just in case you were wondering what I was doing, I'm winging it, okay? So now I'm going to use my finger and see how this works. I'm going to take this yellow that was brighter. Oh, it's so pretty. I did right. I did good. I did good. I did good. I did good. Oh yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. So I'm just literally packing it on, bringing it across the orange part just to transition it better. It's so vibrant. I'm really giving y'all sunset beach. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Back into the orange just to blend it. I'm gonna bring it right over. As an amateur, I am impressed with myself. I spent a lot of time on these eyes when we move on. So <laughs> I think the eyes look good guys. I spent some time on them so they better look freaking good. But I think they look good you guys. Grabbing the Fenty foundation. This is in the color 430. I think I'll just do that for now. This foundation is like my go-to. If you're not new here, you know that. But if you are new, yeah, this foundation is my go-to. I love this foundation. It literally plays well with every product I've ever used it with. 
So that's why I chose it because I feel like it's going to give me good results with whatever I use. I always need more on my cheeks because of hyperpigmentation. This sponge is from Ofra Cosmetics. I love this sponge for blending out concealer and foundation. This is my favorite sponge. I've tried the freaking, that new sponge everybody loves. I forgot what it's called now. Everyone loves this sponge. It's like the Juno and Co sponge. It's cool or whatever, but it's not. It's not like worth the hype, you know what I mean? So I'm going to get my number 16 concealer and just apply it under my eyes, okay? Okay, it blends out and it does come off like it's matte. As I'm blending, it looks very matte in my mirror. And it also blends out like it's like a light coverage. It's not giving me like crazy cake face, which y'all know is not my thing, okay? I don't bake cakes over here. I'm trying to give y'all skin look, skin like finish. I'm using the tip of the Beauty Blender sponge thing to spread the product because I didn't spread it properly when I applied it. It's a hair lighter than I usually go. But I love that it's not super yellow and not super warm. So now that I've spread it out, let me just blend it out. Okay, seriously? I promise you guys, I'm not lying. <laughs> y'all don't, don't lie anyways to y'all about some damn makeup. What's the point of lying? But this is blending. This is blending beautifully. So I brought the light down. I think that helps to really see what's happening with the whole thing. I swear to you guys, I did not know what to expect because I really only see reviews on their eyeshadows. This freaking concealer blended out so smoothly and it's like not, it looks like matte. It's like matte, like demi matte. Okay, so now I have the powder that I used earlier, and that was the chalk dust. This powder is like a good amount of coverage. Yeah, it's like, it's thick enough to cover like pores and like small little bumps. It's like really blurring out my freaking problems, I swear. It's blurring out all of my problems, all of my transgressions. Let me cover up some of my dark spots underneath here. You guys, no, no, I like this. I like this. I know y'all see in the camera, this blurred effect is what's really happening. Let me tell y'all, I did not know what to expect with this whole situation. I knew they had good pigment on the eyes, which is popping. Did not know they had the powder situation, concealer situation, on lock. Okay, I'm excited. So this is the Watch Me Blush palette. And it has <laughs> blush. <laughs> and it also has some contour colors and it has highlight colors. How, how, how could we not, how could we not purchase? 40% off, are you joking? So I'm going to use Hot Cocoa first this is the darkest color right here to try to contour and see what happens and then if I need to use the berry which is more of a purple what's good what's good okay no this is beautiful I love when I find new makeup because as a chocolatey girl finding contour colors is usually a feat I'm not mad 
All right, crayon case. All right, crayon case. All right, crayon case. And I feel like because I put the lighting down, you can see a lot better what's happening in real life. I don't know why I keep twirling this damn, <laughs> I keep twirling this brush around like it's, I don't know, a wand. So I'm gonna try berries. I don't know why, but I wanna try it like on the cheek. Oh, it looks good. As someone that never wears blush, I am like living, I'm loving, I'm just like having the time of my life. But don't worry, we're gonna like blend it out. It won't look so harsh when I'm finished. So, now that I'm all bronze contoured cut up chocolate, I'm going to blend out everything and I'm going to use my favorite um, powder still to this day to this day okay and that's the black radiance chocolate finishing powder i'm gonna take my brush so as you can see i'm literally blending all of everything together i'm covering up any remaining transgressions and then i'm dusting under my eye and then i'm blending in that contour blush situation with the rest of the face and before I move on to the other side, if you compare this side to this side, you can see how harsh this side looks to how even and like just naturally gradient situation-y this side looks. So I'm gonna do it on the other side too. If I don't do this, my face looks crazy, okay? Okay, so I took my scarf off and I did my brows, liner, and lashes um, off camera. I just put on mascara because y'all know I can't put on nobody's lashes on my face, okay? It's impossible. So now it's time for highlighter. So they have some highlighters in the Watch Me Blush palette. I think it's like three. And I wanna swatch them for you guys just because I think they look so so good. Sweet tea, cappuccino, and old banana. Oh my gosh. I will be using these. I will be freaking using those. Okay. I want to use it now, but I also want to try this honor roll highlighter that everybody loves. And this is what it looks like. It's just so gold and gleamy. Mm. I'm so excited. I love highlighters. Y'all already know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. This is beautiful. Oh my God. And, ugh. You guys, I hope, I hope that it's coming through the camera right now. I think this is like more of a higher priced item on their site compared to their other prices. And I'm, I'm seeing why. I, I get it. I understand it. I'm going to tap it on my nose. I like for my nose highlight to be chilling, you know, like just there but barely there. We only do Cupid's bow when the mustache is shaved. And today, she shaved, so... Hey, Cupid's bow, ain't seen you in a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, calm down, calm down. I'm going to take one of these brushes. This one's like a pencil brush, on a, on a pencil brush, you know, you get it? And I'm gonna dip it, not too much, and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner because I'm giving y'all a full beat and full beat always has an inner corner. Let me do a face spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray Mist situation. This isn't as matte as I would like my sprays to be, but I paid for it so I'm gonna use it. This is the Colored Liner Pencils black brown purple maroon light brown and like a fuchsia pink color this is the color bear bear is dark yes yes 
And I'm gonna take this lip gloss. This is the color Pecan Poppin'. Has virtually no smell. Normally I would do a clear gloss with this eye, but since we're here, I'm gonna keep it. It does, I feel like it does match the transition color in my eye. So I just went in with the orange and the transition shade that I use. I put a little like a light wash under my eye. You probably can't even tell that I did that. And then I put on bottom mascara, changed the whole look up, but wait, we need some earrings because we need some earrings, so just give me a moment. I think I bodied this. <laughs> like, I really think I bodied the basically full face crayon case bars. I think that you guys got a good idea of what they're offering over there at the crayon case and the pigment and the quality up to par. I'm loving how thick, goody thickums this lip gloss is. This lip gloss is thick. Oh my god, I had a good makeup look. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> this video has probably been like an hour long. I appreciate you guys, I love you guys. If you are new here and you're still here, subscribe to my channel. Like the video, comment down below, talk to me, and I will see you guys in the next one.